SLS is unaffordable. NASA recently admitted this. Since its build, the SLS has not only experienced soaring costs beyond control, but also significant delays. This has led to criticism of NASA, the leading aerospace agency in the United States, for their management of the cost and financial issues they've become stuck with. But in contrast to NASA, SpaceX has dealt with cost issues exceptionally well with its powerful rocket. Following the initial Starship explosion, concerns arose that SpaceX might be facing financial challenges. However, this isn't a big deal for SpaceX because, in fact, the company hasn't been significantly affected by losses. Even still, they actually turned a profit in early 2023. So with such a big banknote, how SpaceX handling this cost that's embarrassing NASA? Stay tuned as we dive into these questions and more in this episode of Alpha Tech. The Starship project is currently SpaceX's biggest investment. Although Starship holds the potential to be a reliable spacecraft in the future, the process of developing a Starship is by no means cheap. First, the employment of thousands of skilled professionals, from engineers to technicians with specialized expertise, plays a significant role in the mounting expenses. Furthermore, building, testing, and perfecting prototypes require a considerable investment in both time and resources. Frequent trials and experimentation are necessary to ensure the reliability and safety of Starship, all of which come with a hefty price tag. The materials used in constructing Starship also contribute to the overall cost. The spacecraft's colossal size and advanced technology necessitate the use of cutting-edge, high-quality materials. Additionally, infrastructure projects related to Starship development, particularly the construction of the massive Starbase launch facility in Texas, also incur significant expenses. Fortunately for SpaceX, they've managed to generate enough revenue to offset this. Despite these formidable financial challenges, Elon's transparency regarding the cost of Starship is quite noteworthy. Musk has pointed out that the company's planning to spend approximately $2 billion this year alone on Starship and made it clear that they don't expect to need any outside funding to support these costs. This brings to mind the significantly more costly NASA moon rocket, the SLS. To be straight, the annual budget for the SLS development has been double that of SpaceX, yet it still falls short, as NASA is requesting another $11.2 billion in the fiscal year 2024 budget. In addition to the $11.8 billion spent on initial development, high costs are often associated with quality and timelines, but the SLS rocket still struggles to meet these expectations even with the government funding. Back to SpaceX. Following back-to-back -back annual losses, SpaceX has reportedly turned a profit during the first quarter of the year, despite an increase in costs as the company continues to spend on its Starship rocket. According to rare financial documents related to SpaceX, the company achieved its first profitable quarter in Q1 with a profit of $55 million on total revenue of $1.5 billion in 2023. This raises the question of how SpaceX managed its finances while awaiting the launch of Starship and still turned a profit. The year before, SpaceX reported an increase in its expenses from $3.3 billion in 2021 to $5.2 billion in 2022. The company's revenues, however, doubled to $4.6 billion, which reduced SpaceX's annual losses to $559 million in 2022, down from $968 million in 2021, according to the financial documents. The documents also revealed that in 21 and 22, the company spent a total of $5.4 billion on purchases of property and equipment, as well as research and development, a portion of which went towards the development of Starship, although the documents don't specify exactly how much. In general, while SpaceX may not have been profitable, its revenue has continued to increase year by year, aligning with the growth of its overall launch operations. SpaceX's financial sustenance hinges on a diverse array of funding sources. One pivotal source is the capital injection from investors, which has played a crucial role in keeping the company privately owned. This funding helps SpaceX maintain its ambitious pursuit in the ever-competitive space industry. Notably, the company has been successful in attracting substantial investments, reflecting a high confidence level in its mission and capabilities. Another significant source of revenue comes from the highly successful Falcon rocket missions. SpaceX's Falcon rockets have become workhorses in the space launch industry, consistently delivering payloads into orbit. SpaceX's Falcon 9 performed a record-breaking 60 launches last year. The workhorse rocket is in even higher demand this year, as other launch vehicles, such as ULA's Vulcan Centaur, failed to make their debut. SpaceX has also raised the price for trips to orbit on board the Falcon 9 by about 8% this year, with a launch now costing $67 million. The revenue generated from these missions has bolstered the company's financial standing, allowing it to continue pushing the boundaries of space exploration. One of the most promising financial prospects for SpaceX is related to the launch of Starlink satellites. SpaceX is launching 21 or 22 of its many Starlink V2 satellites per Falcon 9 launch. 
There are approximately 37,000 more satellites planned to be launched before the Constellation is completed. The original plan was never to rely solely on the Falcon 9 for the launches. The Falcon 9 was seen as a suitable starting point to kickstart the project until Starship was ready. With its significantly larger size and lower cost, Starship's expected to carry hundreds of Starlink satellites in a single launch. This is expected to significantly increase the speed at which the Starlink Constellation is deployed and the quality of the service it provides. Euroconsult, a leading global strategy consulting and market intelligence firm specializing in the space sector, estimates that up to 40% of SpaceX's revenue, approximately $3.2 billion, could come from Starlink's broadband connectivity services. Starlink's already available in nearly 60 countries and key maritime areas worldwide. Looking into the numbers in more detail, it's projected that about 75% of Starlink's expected 2023 revenue will come from a combination of service subscriptions across residential and mobile segments with the remaining 25% driven by hardware sales associated with subscriber additions. Starlink's user base is expected to double from an estimated 1.1 mil in January 23 to approximately 2.2 million by the end of the year. This growth is attributed to aggressive hardware price reductions, new distribution channels, increased capacity supply, and expansion into more countries. To further enhance revenue for Starlink, Falcon 9 alone's not enough. SpaceX will also require the immense capability of Starship to launch larger Starlink satellites. Hundreds of thousands of people have already made deposits for Starlink service, but they're waiting for the launch of larger satellites that only Starship can carry to ensure that there's enough capacity to serve them. What Elon Musk was saying last year is that we can't run a profitable Starlink business unless we really upsize our satellites, our power, and our capability, and Starship is the key to getting it. Starship made its first test flight in April, about a year after Musk expected it to occur, which wasn't an obvious setback for the engineering program, despite its fiery ending. This aligns with SpaceX's core development strategy, as they consistently build and test hardware in the real world. While this approach has led to some significant failures, according to their engineers, it accelerates progress towards achieving a fully operational vehicle. In fact, building a new rocket, particularly one as complex and powerful as Starship, is never a linear process, and delays can be more costly to a company with a large workforce like SpaceX. Musk compared the Starship program to Soviet efforts to build the N-1 moon rocket in the 60s, a massive vehicle intended to compete with the U.S. Saturn V. The new vehicle was ultimately canceled after four failed launch attempts. Hence, the significance of a successful Starship launch into orbit can't be overstated. It would mark a major turning point for Starship. It won't be long until the next Starship launch attempt. While awaiting the FAA's final response, SpaceX has already completed most of the 57 out of 63 action items that the FAA required. Everything's poised, ready, with changes, upgrades, and improvements to the rocket and ground infrastructure system fully tested. The ambitious timeline for this launch could be as soon as this September. And that's all for today's episode. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please let us know what you think in the comments section below. Your feedback is very important to us and helps us make better videos for you. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.